faulting or faults. Of course, a fault is a crack, fracture, or breakage zone in the Earth's crust where slippage occurs. There are four types of faults. Normal faults, this would be the one in the upper left-hand corner. You can see that what's happening is the block on the left is rising, the block on the right is going down. A reverse fault, that's the upper right-hand side. You can see that the block now on the left is rising, the block on the right is going down, and the block on the left is kind of going over the top of the block on the right. A thrust fault or overthrust fault, very similar to a reverse fault. It's just a lower angle reverse fault. And then the strike slip fault, which is like transform movement in plate tectonics, which you can see in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to begin with the normal fault. Normal faults are the result of tensional forces. If you have tension in your relationship with significant other or your family, are you getting closer together or further apart? That's correct, further apart. That's what tensional forces mean, that the crust is pulling apart. As it says, it's common along divergent plate boundaries, but it can happen all over the place. The movement along the fault line is primarily vertical. You can see the block on the left-hand side is rising. The block on the right-hand side is dropping down. That's the vertical movement. And this results in the crust stretching out, which you can see with those two black arrows, the big arrows pulling apart from each other. A fault scarp is common with normal faults. And it's a cliff or a steep incline along the fault line, which you can see there, outline fault scarp. It makes a cliff. Where? Well, the Eastern Sierra Nevada in, in California, the Teton Range in Wyoming, the Basin and Range System in the Western United States, and Death Valley. Those are the ones I want you to know, at least. Look at this picture. This is the Eastern Sierra taken from Lone Pine. This is at Highway 395 in the foreground and the golf course and those kind of brown mountains. Forget about those. Look at those gray mountains in the background. That's the Sierra Nevada. And in fact, this is the highest part of the Sierra Nevada. There's 10,000 feet of local relief there going from Lone Pine up to the top of Mount Whitney, which you can see kind of on the right hand side. Well, this is all being lifted up along a normal fault. It looks something like this in a diagrammatic form. You can see the yellow arrows pointing at what's happening is the eastern side of the Sierra is being tilted up. But notice on the western side, there is no fault line there. That normal fault is on the eastern side of the Sierra, which results in this. The eastern side of the Sierra is very steep, whereas the western side of the Sierra is much more gentle and gradual because the fault line isn't there. This is the Teton Range in Wyoming. You can see the Tetons over there on the right-hand side, the arrows pointing the direction of movement upwards along the fault line. And then you can see where that lake is at, which is actually a valley that's filled in with water. That block of land is dropping down. I mean, this is almost the perfect look of a normal fault where the block of mountains on the right are lifting up along the normal fault. And then that flatter area there where this valley is at that's filled with water is dropping down along the normal fault. Sometimes if you get a series of normal faults, it creates what's called horsts in grobbins. A horst is a block of land that's being lifted between normal faults. It makes a mountain. And a grobbin is a block of land that's dropping down between normal faults. It makes a valley. The basin and range system in the United States, which begins at Owens Valley, just to the east of the Sierra Nevada, where I took that picture in Lone Pine of the Eastern Sierra, when you start there and you go all the way over to Utah, it's up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. This is Horst and Graben, Horst and Graben, Horst and Graben. If you've ever driven from Barstow to Las Vegas, as you're driving along the 15 and you're headed east before it turns north, it's up, down, up, down, up, down. You're going over Horst and into Graben, up over Horst and down into Graben. So Horst is a block of land that's lifted between normal fault lines, and a Graben is a block of land that drops down between normal fault lines. Again, there's only two of these. Memorize one, you get the other for free. Graben in German means grave, like where you put a dead body. And where's it going? Down in the ground. So there you go. There's the one to memorize. This is Death Valley. Death Valley is the lowest place, not just in California or the United States, but in the entire Western Hemisphere. That area off to the right where you see the salt flats, the white, that's 282 feet below sea level. 
Death Valley is formed in a graben. That's the reason it's so deep because it's dropping down. For that matter, the Dead Sea is formed in a graben also, which is the lowest place on earth. Eh? Death Valley, Dead Sea, graben. See how these things all go together?